All right, so I jerry-rigged this camera mount and we're gonna go through a hopefully successful startup of this Wayne Ho i3 conversion to the SKR 1.4. Now that everything's wired up, what we've got here, I've labeled everything, although it looks like a whole rat's nest right now. We'll just go through things quickly. This is your uh, X motor, your Y motor, both your Z motors, this right here is your extruder, and you be careful when you unplug everything. I didn't have any JST connectors, so I just cut and soldered and heat shrinked um, some just jumper wires. But I did go ahead and label everything. Um, there's 2B, 2A, 1A, and 1B in that order um, as you go across there nothing for extruder two i don't remember what that one is now i've only put in one 2209 i did not cut the diagnostic pin uh, i've heard some reports of it working without cutting it um, even if you're not using the um you know sensor or homing i'm gonna roll with that and see how it goes this fan header looks like it's not in all the way it's good thing we caught that That is fan zero. I guess it is on all the way. I will check that again in a minute. All right, fan zero is right here, plus and minus. This is the hot end. Make sure you pay attention here because the polarity does change. Uh, the negative is over here. I'm sorry. The positive is here. The negative is here. When you get to this one, it's negative positive and that is your uh hotbed and i'm running a mosfet driver over here off camera maybe you can uh i don't know if you can see it right now but that was always one of the problems with the wayne Ho. so um that takes care of that problem moving over here trying to get some of these wires out of the way you've got all your x stops and jumpers i've got all the jumpers set um the same. Let's see if I can get it where you can see it. Everything's running UART. It's three down on the left side of the red underneath each driver. Like I said, I'm going to test it with just one driver in place to start, but make sure all of them are the same. Right here, I've got your X stop, your Y stop, and your Z stop all plugged up. I am going to run the stock LCD. Later, I've got the pinout on the bottom of my webpage with instructions on how you do that. You have to look on the back side of the board here and uh, copy that. You'll need some uh, female to male jumpers and you can run some hot glue on the end of that to keep them together. I did go ahead and wire up the BL touch that I've got um, to the servo port. What I'm running right now um, is this yellow wire on the left hand side um, is the brown wire off the BL touch. So that would be your ground. Your second wire is the five volts, uh, or the red wire. And then finally your third wire is the signal wire. Um, when you get over here to the, I guess the other side of the BL touch, Make sure you put your ground on the left-hand side. That's what I'm doing here. I hope you can see it. It's so hard to show you any of this stuff. I'll move the camera a little bit. The ground's on this left side. You can see I kind of wrote GRD on there. Uh, then finally, we've got the uh, hot end uh, thermosistor and the uh, hot bed thermoresistor. Um, I am running the jumper as uh, power supply powered. And that is it right now. We're going to plug this thing up in a minute and pray for no magic smoke. So we will see in a minute. Oh, there's the MOSFET. Eventually, we're going to get all this back into the original case. So we hope. <laughs> 